Hey there everyone, Hanyu here, and welcome back to The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. In this episode, I believe we're going to be leaving, but before that I'm going to check the bounty board real quick. Make sure there's nothing new there for me. Geese and chickens and stuff, and will you be quiet? Right. Okay, apparently there is more stuff for me to do here. Okay, maybe not. Maybe that's for other areas? Listen carefully. You're never to sing that rhyme again. Never. And you're not to play with Chetty no more. Well, Chetty's my best mate! Chetty's a little fool who get us all killed. I see you with him again and you'll regret it. Well, that's interesting. Right then. I think it's about time we leave. And you. Get out of here. Okay, apparently geese are in the... Whoa, glitch. No, not a glitch, just a... I mean, I'm not stronger to, strong enough to push a door open while a goose is trying to push from the other side. I'll rip off your melon and shit down your neck! Come to Pappy! Vesemir, you ready? Jennifer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so... Something wrong? Look around. Trouble brewing. Who are they? Patriots. Drinking their <laughs> seventh round for Tamaria. Fists starting to itch. Don't see any enough guardians. They'll find another foe. I'll buy some provisions for the journey. Then we'll go. Geralt. Sounds good. We should stay out of it. Just this once. Hey, if they don't cause any trouble, I'm fine. But if they start causing trouble... What happened to the lilies? Took them down. Took them down? To hang a golden sun there now? I cannot show Temerian colors. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fond of the Imperials? You Nilfgaard's whore! I'll let that pass. I know grief eats at your heart. You know shit. They hang my sister, dragged her out the closet. <sighs> dog said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition. That they don't fear the wrath of the gods. And you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to let my sister go. attending to the birth. And you don't oh. fear the gods' wrath. You don't <sighs> fear it, you cunt. <sighs> <sighs> Stop! What the hell's the matter with you? Recognize this medallion? You know what it means. Back off. You all right? They say which is still young'uns. That's true. What the emperor promised you, freaks? Your own land, like he did the elves. <laughs> Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. Uh are you? They won't back down now. I can see that. Well. What now? I didn't stand a chance. 
Uh, so I think there's a bit of another issue going on now. Oof. It's all right. It's over. Leave me be! Get away! Huh. <laughs> See his face! God save us! Be gone. And don't ever come back. Hey, they started it. So much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. <sighs> that brawl, we didn't start it. Well, now. Excuses, excuses. <laughs> You've not changed a bit. Ah. Y Yen? How? I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but... Well, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's... Good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Sorry. Well, I expected <laughs> to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? You didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad <laughs> to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it. In Vizima. Ready your horses. What's the rush? Six months in the saddle. Haven't seen you for two years. Can we take a moment to... Sadly, we cannot. Someone awaits you, Geralt. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emirvar Emrys. Or, to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt I remember <laughs> among that group. For as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. <laughs> now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse? I didn't. Though I could have. Must have been a damn good offer then. <laughs> Not many things you'd give up your freedom for. And even fewer people. The sooner we set off, the sooner you'll find out. What about you? Fair point, I guess. As a direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Care More. Remember? Yeah, I remember. True, true. Thanks for your help, Vesemir. See you soon. See you soon, old friend. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's comforting or not. Lilac and gooseberries. And I leveled up. See you again soon, Vesemir. Hopefully. <laughs> Just the beginning, but then. But then. Right now! And then that ha something like this happened. And now I know why she wanted to get behind some thick walls. And now I won't know also why she wanted to know if my horse was swift. Whew. 
Damn. Lady, you got some splaining to do. Um, I'd much rather you explain that to me now, please. Thank you. <laughs> but I guess I can wait. Bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. After many hmm. trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. Sorry. <laughs> I think he's enjoying himself. Hmm. It must suffice. Think of your cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. <laughs> the gentleman will be seated on the bergère. The what now? In that chair. <laughs> all right. Catherine, we shave the gentleman sideburns to half an inch. Something wrong, wrong with my, with my beard. beard? Always thought it added to my dignity. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested with lice. Been on the road a while. Fine. Do your thing. <laughs> Tilt your head back, please. And sit still. How goes hmm. it? Preparations for the audience proceeding as planned. Yes, General. The gentleman will be more or less presentable. Who's this guy? He a bubber too? Huh. <laughs> no. <laughs> Morvran Voris, commander of the Albert V. Yennefer's escort. They were my men. Ah. Uh. Indeed. You have my sympathies then. For none have returned to Vizima, have they? I truly wonder what happened on the road yesterday. Perhaps you could enlighten me. You have time. And a uh, razor to your throat. Your men died in, died battle, in battle, as soldiers tend to. I see their fate does not trouble you overly. True. But I'm guessing the fate of those whose country they invaded didn't overly trouble them. Nordlings, <laughs> we can bathe you, shave you, and clothe you, but teaching you manners, that will be a challenge. Nice meeting you too. Don't. <laughs> Shall I shave him once more against the grain? No. He himself is very much against the grain. That's enough. <laughs> or rather, See you soon. Good. Now the gentleman may dress. What? <laughs> Sadly, I did not receive exact measurements. If the garments chafe, our tailor will adjust them. <laughs> <laughs> Any color as long as it's black. Black, black, or black. We do not like garish colors in Nilfgaard. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. Fair enough.
I like this one. Oh, wait, I can take all of them. Alright. Hey, thanks for the clothes, dude. <laughs> uh, let's see now. I think I will go with that. And they say clothes do not make the man. Does the outfit satisfy hmm. the gentleman? I suppose so. A studded so. doublet and a sword on my back. That's what would satisfy me. But tough. When in Nilfgaard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. <laughs> the gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the north and south. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. I'm not a I'm boar. Not I know boar. how to bow. I know how to bow. Please, demonstrate. That, sir, is how you might bow to a whore on a street corner. Not to the Emperor of Nilfgaard. <laughs> Please watch. Leg extended, hand flat, head down, chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Right. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Once more. Leg extended. Hand flat. Head down. Chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. <laughs> uh. mm, lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. I'm gonna fucking turn you into a shish kebab, dude. You really think it's uh, it's the smart to insult somebody only when asked to who has very clear higher combat skill than you? I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Grimmy at art cancer. Dyfen Aden in Karn eb Marvut. Emir var emres. Bow. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer eb do orde. A valiant nomen, but gun for what? Okay. Interesting request, but so many months at Faltest Court, yet you still haven't mastered the basics of etiquette. You know what they say? Can't teach an old wolf new tricks. <laughs> Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days. So silence. My daughter. Okay. Sabina. She's returned, and she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? Huh. You know why. Because she trusts you. 
She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making <laughs> up for all those lost years. For reasons yeah, I doubt state, that too. As always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. I'm only doing this for Siri. Save your generosity for those whose homes your armies have raised. I'll do it for Siri, not for your gold. Your motives do not interest me, only results. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meredith! <sighs> Take him to the sorceress. I don't care for you that much. But it's okay, because you don't seem to care for me that much either, so. <laughs> So it kind of works out. And I'd fain. Did the gentleman not understand? Did I not emphasize adequately that one must bow to the emperor? Relax, nothing happened. To the gentleman? <laughs> but I shall be punished. How? Please keep close and bother no one. Yes, they not reach an etiquette for one day. What? I'm Herevart the second of Prince of Helanda. Not only am I made to wait here like some supplicant, but with who for company? A Tinter. Tanner. Master of the Tanner's Guild? As if it makes a damn difference. I demand! Calm down. The Emperor demands silence. Those who disturb face harsh punishment, no matter their birth. I didn't like that guy's attitude. Seen as far as Yeah, my name. Rad sleeping eh, enect, a stun, a sound, a nail file. Cut the up. This is seed F's. Oh, boy. Yes, that's good. This is my strength. Yes, sir. War and I fail. Where is Yennefer? Once the gentleman mm. is done, he should see to retrieve his possessions. Alright. Yes? Then transcribe. The true authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchant's guild. Where is she? This way. But the church of the eternal fire. Geralt, that tunic. You look positively smashing. <laughs> uh, dying to take it off. I'd consider <laughs> that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might hmm. even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? Uh -huh. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? Hmm. No chance he's mistaken. Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. Quite lovely. How about that? She's grown up. It's been years since you trained together at Kaer Morn. Huh. A great deal has changed. You haven't? Not a bit? I missed those awkward compliments of yours. But <laughs> let's focus on the uh, He tries. Right. Amir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Siri, using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. Wow. I knew the wild hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Guess so. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk <laughs> another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You Which must would find be her, him. Geralt, before the wild hunt does. 
<sighs> the wild hunt. What could it want from Siri? I've no clue, Geralt. Might have written them to ask, but I don't have their address. <laughs> I know as much as you do. It must be about her blood. Her gift. As for what the hunt wishes to do with that gift, I... I prefer not to think about it, really. Fair point. So where's she been seen? So where's Siri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? No. <laughs> Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boy has fantasies <laughs> about the crafts of the trade. Uh. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Mutual Tris acquaintance? Oh, Triss! She's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure, she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe Whoa. this had something to do with Siri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned okay. something. Before we part, why didn't you contact me earlier? One thing before we go. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Yen, <laughs> I'd lost my memory. Really? That's your excuse? Let's drop it, alright? <laughs> it's not what you think, or... It helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. <sighs> Fine. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Vell and get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'm on horseback, <laughs> so I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and you really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. <laughs> and if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roam the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt. All right, you thank you. All time, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me in one piece. I'll I do what I can. All right. Wow. Whoa. Um. Well, that, that's certainly one way to make a freaking exit. Alright. <laughs> if you enjoyed this episode, please consider leaving it a like. Don't forget to subscribe for more content in the future. And until next time, have a good one, everybody. Nice fire. Later.